Well, hello there. Today, we are going to change out these old, ugly four prong lights to these really cool, long lasting LEDs. Went to Costco and bought a pack of eight of these guys with the changing of the color of light, which is super cool. It automatically has the socket included, which I snipped off here because changing these lights out, this socket is worthless, unfortunately, because that would have been a lot easier. Before starting, turn off the power at the breaker. All right, so I have here wire cutters, strippers, some gloves, extra wire nuts. You may or may not need those. Stubby little screwdriver because you're gonna need a little one. Some scissors and some pliers. Also very handy is this super cool headlight. Uh, you can also put a flashlight in your attic, but it might mess with the insulation, which happened to me, and it looked like there was snow all over my floor, which was totally uncool. So, and this also looks super cool, along with my really neat glasses here to protect your eyes. All right, so we're going to just pull down on the light fixture here. This is trash. Sometimes you'll have a little like a uh, hanger looking prong here. I didn't, but uh, if you do, you just squeeze it together. I like using gloves to get this light bulb out because, uh, well, number one, it's a little warm. Number two, they're just pretty fragile and they're a pain in the butt. So got that out. Okay, next we're just going to unscrew. There's three screws in mine. There might be two in yours. Any, in any case, this is, there we go. Okay, I love this little screwdriver. It's just so cute. Sometimes they're kind of tight to get out. Y'all, this is my first video. So the reason I'm making it is there's another one similar, but it just was such a long video. So I'm trying to make a shorter one for you. Make it easier. So get all those screws out. All right, then we have all our screws out. Now I'm just going to pull this light to fixture, whatever, out of the ceiling. Now, when you're doing this, <laughs> be careful because you're going to have insulation right above it, which can fall out. And when it starts, it doesn't stop. You will have a snowstorm, I am telling you, from experience. Okay, so there you go. You got your metal cord here. Oh, here comes the snow. Yikes. Just pull it out like that. Okay. Gently feel around for the box. There it is. Okay. And now you're going to, I'm going to take off my gloves for this. Okay. So now you're going to push this aside because freaking falls out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now I like to kind of tap it up a little bit just so it's a little more, you know, sturdy. Okay. Here's your, here is your box. Okay. So there's a little clip here. Get my light on there. Here. Sometimes the the cover goes over the top. You just have to find the little snappy thing there and it just pulls right off. All right, so you'll need that for later. Okay, here you have a bunch of wires. You're gonna pull them out. Good Lord, y'all. Turn off the electricity before you do this. I am not a licensed professional. I am a DIYer. Why am I a DIYer? Because I like to fix things and I like to save money. Turn off the ding dong electricity. Okay. All right, so you're gonna take off all of the wire nuts except for the ground uh, wire nut because that's just gonna stay there. If you happen to take that off, no big deal, but you don't need to. So unscrew 
all of the wire nuts. Except for this guy here. The ground wire, you just leave that. All right, so I undid the wire nuts here. You have, um, if you can see back there, it's kind of um, like casing around the black copper and white wires on both sides. That's the electricity line connecting all of the lights together. That's the reason there's two. If there was the end of the line, there's only, there would only be one. Now you have the other mess of wires here that I took the wire nuts off of. These here coming out of the middle of the box are trash. So sad. They're worthless. They're going to go bye-bye. These four here are not trash. So don't cut them quite yet. Uh, we will be getting rid of two of them, but, but don't touch those yet. So I'm going to snip these. I love these little snippers here. So cute and so little and perfect. I have the, oh my gosh, the four wires here that I haven't snipped because we want to keep those. The top of my light fixture has the um, little light bulb holder stuck under this thing. So I have to rip this off. The one, the other ones I've seen don't have this and these gloves are not helping. So don't use gloves for this. Okay, just rip this off. There's two little, uh, Those little guys, you just pinch them. Get the light fixture thing out. Okay. All right. So we'll pull that down where the light bulb was and just snip off the wires from the top of this. So you're just cutting this block off. The four wires are snipped. All right. So you snip the little light fixture connector guy off it is trash now you can use your super strong fingers to just pull these little guys off you don't need them and they're also trash or i mean you might think of something really cool to do with them so who knows but i don't know what else to do with this so those off okay now with these you're only going to need two you need one of each you're going to pull from the top one of each out and throw it away. So, here we go. Sorry, my camera's a little shaky. Gently pull. If it gets a little stuck, you can push from the other end. Okay, there's one, I think. Or Do the same thing with the red one. All right, just pulled the red one off. It is also trash. Now we are left with two. A red and a blue. Oh, they're kind of painted, so it's hard to see, but that's what they are. Okay, so now we're going to strip a uh, half inch, three eighths of an inch off of those guys so we can connect them to our new light. Okay, so let's get to stripping. Okay, so now that we have our little ends here ready to go so pretty we're gonna make sure those where those wires are shoved in the back okay take the blue wire with a wire nut and connect the blacks and the blue together so line up the ends so they're nice and um aligned haha <laughs> And the wire nut does all the work for you. You don't have to twist them first. Y'all that are saying, oh no, you do. You don't. Look at the package, okay? You don't have to twist them first. That is the job of the wire nut. Just line them up. Okay, see you in a minute. Alrighty, so here's the black wires with the blue. So when you're using the wire nut, which is awesome, you can reuse these. Um, you know that it's done when it starts to actually show a twisted wire. So cool. All right, so then I have also done that with the white wires and the red, okay? 
Just keep on a twisting until it's looking pretty. All right. Okay, so now we're ready to put those back into the box. They're all done. Yay. Okay. Um, carefully put your cover back on your little metal plate. Snap it back on again. Be careful of your insulation because y'all do not need a mess like I had. Okay, this is the exciting part. We're just going to put our can back in, line up the screws, screw it in. All right, now comes the fun part. I have my wire shear that I stripped earlier. This connects to the light fixture. It's easier just to unplug it so you can connect the wires and then plug it back in. So we're going to go white to red and blue to black, just like before. Here we go. Okay, we are ready to plug it in. Oh, by the way, there's this cool little thing here. I'm sure you've noticed and change the lights uh, coloring, which is neat. I like the second one, second warmest for my kitchen, but you know, maybe you like something different. Okay, plug in, squeeze the little guys here and get her up there. Gonna have to kind of adjust it like a couple of them I have to kind of turn and make it make it exactly where it should be I love it yay see not that hard right so easy go save some money